my first ring for the season. Check that out. A nice silver blue stone ring. Boy, I like that. <laughs> Today, I don't really expect to find anything. It's still kind of early. It's still about three weeks, but uh, I got a beach behind me. I'm probably going to do and try to get out in the water. Water's pretty cold. We got a lot of rain yesterday, so it's going to be a lot colder. Lake's down just a little bit, so if I can brave that cold water, I'll get out and, and see. I don't expect too much because there hasn't been any, any swimmers out here yet. It's still a little ways out. So anyway, like anything, I'll show it to you. So let's get in the water. Well, I found a pull tab, and my second target, believe it or not, is going to be a 10 karat gold earring. I think it's 10 karat. It may say 14. I, it's so small I can't read it, but I see the writing on the, uh, the little le le lever there. But that's a good sign. It's a gold earring. And I thought it was just going to be a gold plated. But when I flip the clasp over right here, or wherever it's at on this side, open it up actually see writing right down there I think it says 10k so a 10 karat gold earring I'm gonna look around for the other one and uh, there may be some more out here so that's a good sign there could be something out here there could be nothing out here I'm gonna hit the beach as well because it's still really early in the season but that's my first good find of the season in 2022 well, I'm going to have to take the plunge. I got a little bit of my chest wet, so I'm going to have to go ahead and do it. So let's do it together. Oh, it's still cold. It's still, even though it's May, early May, and it's about 85 degrees today, oh, the water is cold. But once you get in it, it's okay, but you just got to get in it first. But I just found a dime. I just showed it to you about chest deep, just a little less than chest deep. And then now that makes me think I need to go a little bit deeper. So I got to take the plunge and get in. So. Well, I moved up to the shallow here, just about knee deep water. And I was getting a 75 signal and I was going to scoop it up. 75 is usually a, a zinc penny. And uh, I didn't find anything in the deep end, so I thought I'd come up this way. And I scooped it up, and guys, it's not a zinc penny. Check this out. Nice blue stone. Uh, I can't see any writing on it, any markings uh, out here. So hopefully it's going to be silver. It's ringing up a 75. It could be just junk, too, but it's a very pretty ring. Boy. I'm glad I came out. I was hesitating to come out because the water's so cold, but I'm glad I did. Two earrings and a ring, and I haven't been here an hour yet. So there we go. My first ring for the season. Check that out. A nice blue stone ring. Boy, I like that. Well, it's getting a 39. Real jumpy signal. Thought it's going to be an earring. Popped it up. It's going to be a stainless steel necklace. It says Dakota on it, and it's a complete, complete necklace. There's still stuff out here. Well, there's still stuff out here. I'm digging all these, these iffy signals. I'm only about mid chest deep, and I've been pretty quiet at this swim area. I moved on to another. This is the deep end, so it's really cold water down here. But I'll, I'll take it. All right, let's keep looking. We're moving on to a different lake. Like I said, it's a little early, but uh, who knows? There may be something out here you'll never find if we don't look. So we're going to get out here and look around for a couple of hours. And got a few more lakes to hit as I'm going back home today. So we'll see. All right. <laughs> 
put the camera on, we'll find something good. Well, I thought I had a ring when you look at that. It's ringing up like a 55. And, but when you flip it over, you can just tell it's just a, a ring that went around the neck of a bottle or something like that. So uh, it's been pretty quiet out here. Found a couple of dimes and then a lot of trash. Making one more sweep through the shallow and then where I'm gonna go on to, to another lake. Well, I was just getting a 59 to a 60 and um, it didn't sound like a bottle cap or anything like that. So I dug it up and it says, it's a little cheap bracelet. It says love on it. Hey, I'll take it. Right now, it's pretty quiet out here. Uh, I've dug a penny and uh, a pull tab and some other stuff, but this is the first piece of little jewelry. Not much to look at, but it's something. All right, let's give it a little bit longer, and then we're going to move on to another lake. All right. Headed down to my third lake. Last one for the day. I haven't found anything but that bracelet. And that's the way it goes this early on in. People are just not swimming right now. Water's still kind of cold, about 70 degrees. So this is the lake that's near my house. Maybe there'll be something out here. I don't know. There's people that come out here, but we'll see. All right, let's see what we can get. Well, made it in from the lakes today. I decided to go out and hit three lakes. I call it the trio. One's about 10 minutes away, one's about 20 minutes away, one's about 45 minutes away. But they're on the same highway, just boom, boom, boom. And uh, didn't find a whole lot today, but that's the way it's gonna be this time of the year. It's just between now, things are not gonna pick up in my area until after Memorial Day. And after that, it picks up and people are at the lakes every day, every weekend, once school is out. But it, I'm getting out a little early, found a few things, and uh, I found some stuff, but uh, it's not everything that I wanna find, but hey, I'm not complaining. This early, finding this much, I'm doing pretty good. So let me show you what I got. All right, there's all my trash, all my aluminum stuff. There's all my bottle caps, uh, aluminum caps. Miscellaneous stuff, I really thought that was a ring earlier today. Fishing lures, fishing weights, uh, dog collar, uh, here's your bottle caps, um, your beaver tails, and then your square pull taps. So quite a bit of trash, you know, considering not a lot of people, a lot of this was probably left over from last year. You can tell how bad it is. Some stuff could be new. But anyway, I found a set of goggles. I, I bought them. They're about 10, four or five foot water. I picked them up. Uh, shovel, uh, pail, pail handle, whatever you got, a shovel, whatever. And then I've got uh, what, five, seven pennies. We got 10 dimes. We got eight quarters. So quite a bit of change there. I was surprised to get that much, but that's in four different lakes. Uh, so that's not a lot. Uh, anyway, I got a, a big loop ear ring. I thought this was gonna be 24 karat gold or 14 or 10 karat. It's just fake costume. I got a stud uh, earring. Got this little bracelet that says loved on it. Not too fancy at all. Then we get a little stainless steel, nice little chain says Dakota. And then my best find is going to be that ring right there. And I thought it was going to be silver, but doggone it, it's not silver. It's just going to be a very, very nice costume ring. Uh, there's no markings on it whatsoever. And, uh, but it's gonna clean up nice and be good part of the collection. But I like that, that's pretty nice. I'll take it, it's very pretty. But it's some type of non-precious metal. And so, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. 
And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out and find in a lake. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.